Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when audio is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to switch from A Z E R T Y keyboard layout to Q W E R T keyboard layout. Now, this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So you can press Alt plus Shift or maybe Windows plus Space Bar. So whichever key is applicable to switch to QWERTY mode, you can just switch it and then you can check next step is to enable or disable steam input and then restart the game now for this you can go to steam maker act on the game select properties go to controller tab and then select disable input and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even enable steam input launch the game and then check which one is working fine for you you can check it the next step is to use wired connection so connect your controller using the usb cable to the computer and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to now this is for playstation controller user so type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to hardware and sound and then click on sound option now over here you will see your controller you have to connect your controller using the usb cable so let me connect my controller so what using the cable to your computer you will see your here you can see dual sense wireless controller make a right click and if this is disabled like if this is disabled you can just make a right click and enable it now once you enable it once you enable it make a right click and then go to configure speaker and then here you can see quadro quadrophonic select this click on next put a check on from left and right surround speaker make sure both are checked and then click on next click on finish now you can launch the game and then you can check now it's still not working the next step is to playstation controller user use ds for windows application so if this is already installed you can just configure your controller and then check if not installed you can install it and then you can configure your controller and then check next step is to update controller using playstation or xbox accessories app so for this if you have xbox controller open microsoft store in the search box you can type in xbox accessories app and then click on xbox accessories now once you install xbox accessories app you can launch xbox accessories app now you have to connect your controller using the usb cable so you have to use the wired connection to connect your controller and once you connect the controller it will detect your controller so let me connect the controller now so once connected now click on these three dots and if there is any update you will see update option so click on update click on continue and let the update complete and then you can check similarly if you have playstation controller in that case install this playstation accessories app so you can search in google and go to playstation official website and then download for windows run this exe file and then you can launch playstation accessories app once you launch it you have to connect your controller now once you connect your controller and if the controller is not up to date in my case it's already up to date if not up to date you will see update option so update your controller and then you can check step is to launch steam in big picture mode so go to steam at the top right here you can see big picture mode icon so at the top right click on this enter big picture mode icon now once the steam is in big picture mode now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer which you are not, not using so if you have any kind of usb adapter connected or dongle connected disconnect it disconnect external keyboard or mouse you can disconnect it uh, and you can connect it again once you launch the game and when it's working disconnect extra controller connected to the computer so if you have any extra controller connected disconnect it disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor if you have any kind of virtual controller like vjoy etc running you can disable it or you can uninstall it and then launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you 
to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.